Sure. So, so when we're looking at a single radar interferogram, they're very good for measuring large deformation signals, for example, when there's an earthquake or when there's a volcanic eruption. But the contributions from various noise sources, in particular from the atmosphere, are very large and they can, be, they can dominate if we're looking at very small deformation signals. So there's a variety of tools that have been developed to deal with that. Uh, they all essentially amount to taking lots and lots of data, so lots and lots of images are acquired for a given area, and we essentially can track how the phase signal for a given point within that image. Within, so we can track how the motion of a single point varies throughout time by tracking that through this stack of images. And because we've got lots of data, we can make use of the fact that the atmospheric noise contributions really only affect one single date. So we can essentially do some smoothing through the time series to reduce the effect of atmospheric noise. And we need to do this if we want to get a measurement with an accuracy of, say, a millimetre per year, which is what we need to do to be able to measure the slow deformation between tectonic uh, faults um, that uh, might be happening and might eventually cause earthquakes. If we want to get down to a millimetre per year, we need to deal with this atmospheric noise. And so to do that, we need to build up these large stacks of images, track the phase motion through time, and make corrections for those atmospheric noise contributions.